My relationship with the camera, it's more than just a thing. It represents a lot to me. Ready, one, two, three, go. It allows you to create anything. It allows you to express anything. It can be raw and it can be honest, but it can also become anything you want it to be. It can be a fantasy. The red one, just kind of have it fanned out. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with throwing hair around, throwing fabric around. The models might hate me a little bit because muscles are gonna be hurting. We're gonna have to make this look as realistic as possible. One, two, three. It's not gonna look like much right now. The magic of Photoshop will come in and we'll create a whole different scene. Pretty much all of us have probably gone through moments where bad things are happening in our lives, right? And we know it'll get better eventually, right? We know uh, if we're having a bad day, we know tomorrow's gonna be better, but we force it. So this particular image, we've got a guy, he's got a rope, it's, it's wrapped around the moon, right? He's trying to pull that across the sky. I wanted a whole series to show, and we've named it Dark Places. When we say dark places, hold it, we're talking about physical places, like places that are scary and dark, uh, emotionally dark places, depression, anxiety, fear, things that we've all experienced in our lives. I use the, the fantasy and the surreal uh, images that I create to kind of tell a story. And it may be based on something very real, but presented in a way that's very tangible, or very, um, it's easier to digest for people. I used to be in finance, I, I was academic, and in the recession I'd lost everything. Uh, and then I had a baby, and then I didn't know who I was anymore. And one day, my husband had seen, I guess, my love of photography from a distance. You know, I, I appreciated it in other people, but I never thought that I was capable. You're gonna have to go another step. We, we didn't have, you know, money to rub together and he went and sold all his guitars and he turned up one Christmas with this camera. If it makes you feel better, you can kind of straddle the ladder. Anytime I'm really fighting with something, I've always internalized, and this is the only thing in my life I've ever found. It allows me to get that out. Because then that'll bring the ceiling down a little bit too. My motivation behind the series is a very personal one. I mean, I've personally struggled with depression, anxiety myself, uh, most of my life. And as much as I want to help other people, this is also therapy for me. Some of the stuff looks really pretty, maybe in, in some capacity. But when it comes to editing, I'm, I'm really gonna focus on darkening it down a little bit, bringing the emphasis on the things that are important in the shot. So it's very important to me to have an idea of the end product while I'm creating. I'm putting a lot of myself in all of these pieces, and so I hope some of that shines through.